What's up YouTube? This is Umar Shundai Portal and in this video I'm going to show you 5 best suited applications which you can use your Android device to optimize it up to a next level. And make sure you watch the video till the end otherwise I will not be responsible for any type of boot loop or soft break or hard break of your device. So let's get right into it. The first step in our list is L Speed Mode. This is an application available on the Play Store. I have provided the links in the description. So with this you can easily tweak your kernel, your CPU or battery or performance. So here we have some features like main tweak, CPU tuner, LNet optimizer and IO tweaks for internet, virtual memory, RAM management, seeder to reduce the lags, cleaner to clean junk files, cache, Delvic cache, F-Stream and backup settings and many more. So let's first go into main tweaks. In main tweaks we have some features like boost now, type to calibration and kill media servers. You can also use this kernel tweaks and kernel sleeper optimization to save some battery and we also have some battery tweaks, faster boot, wifi sleeper. You can use all these features easily, don't need to worry and make sure you uh, use this disable kernel packing panic sorry uh, if you are getting some rendered reboot so just enable it and restart your device and if you are getting issues in your call audio and if you want to improve image quality and we also have some miscellaneous tweaks it will be applied automatically i don't know what is contained in this miscellaneous tweaks and we also have some cpu optimizer so we have this only cpu optimizer it helps you to save battery and it also depends on the kernel which kernel you are using i am currently using optimax kernel in my samsung lc g7 so it may be only this feature is available it can be more features available in your kernel so make sure you check it too and we have this lnet optimizer to optimize our uh, internet speed so we are here we have some google dns faster streaming for video streaming or live streaming faster domain say ril tweaks i don't know what is this ril and we have this uh, uh, input output tweaks to speed up our copying and writing speed so here we have some sd tweaks you can set it to aggressive if you want a good copying speed a good caching and copying speed from your mobile uh, from your internal external sd card and we have this virtual memory you can set it to enable and you, you can easily uh, set your cache reclaiming to double but make sure you set this cache allocation to medium i don't know whether it will work on large or otherwise you will get some lag so in ram manager don't so here we have normal features so if you are a pro user if you are a gamer if you are a balanced user you can set it according to your needs as i'm a balanced user i am setting it to balanced if you want to play games you can set it to play games and you can easily play high end games on your low end devices and this cedar this feature helps you to reduce some lag minor lags whether mm, doing multitasking or while gaming so you can use this aggressive feature to speed up your android device and we have this cleaner so you don't need to go to any other area to clean uh, to app to use this to clean junk files to clean app by cache so just you can also set this run cleaner on boot so whenever you restart your device it will automatically clean junk files app cache wipe cache del cache etc we also have this f stream feature and some we have some backup so if you want to do a backup of your settings which you have done it so you can easily set it and you can easily restore it later if you uh, are going to any new custom room or any other thing. So the second app in our list to optimize your Android device is this kernel alter. This is the best application available on the Play Store for overclocking your device. So here you can see that I have an Octa core processor and my all the 8 cores are running. 4 cores are running on 600 MHz and 4 are running on 1500 MHz. So here we have some uh, information about our little and our big kernels and we have some device information from here directly and in memory how much ram you have free on different sections in inputs and in cpu you can use these features to uh, turn on all the cores as i have eight cores so i have turned my four cores to 1500 and my other four cores to balance from 400 to 1500 you can also set your cpu governors from here and you also can awake cpu you can use this feature to save some battery and in battery i don't have any feature it, it may be because of my kernel and if you are using any different kernel it may be that you have some battery tweaks so make sure and if you have if you are getting these features in your battery section let me know in the comment section and we also have i input output schedule so here we have some features related to our internal xt card or it may it uh, mostly refers to our reading and writing speed whenever we are playing any game or while doing multitasking so it helps us to load applications or playing games faster without any lag so we also have low memory clear don't try to use this or set uh, any uh, properties to ran at randomly otherwise you will get your device in a boot loop i just prefer you to use these profiles these set profiles like you can set your medium or aggressive don't try to set it according to your needs otherwise you will get your device into boot loop or software 
and you also have this virtual memory feature make sure you enable this zswap it will help you to make your ram that much freer so here we have this entropy so miscellaneous tweaks so overall we also have these features like custom controls build prop editor so and you can also use this recovery features to go into a recovery and you also have init.d support on boot option and many other features so overall this application has many features as compared to other overclocking applications so you can use this as compared to applications like trickster mode or any other like cpu z and many more available on it so the third app in our list to optimize your android device in case of battery this is screenify you can easily download it from the play store so what it actually does it hibernate the apps which are continuously running in the background which you have selected so here you can see that i have selected couple of applications which was draining my battery and always running in the background so just click on this hibernate button and it will hibernate all the applications which are running in the background so it is not hibernating like az screen recorder as i am currently recording my screen from this so from here in sections in settings you can use this with expose installer i am going to show you the fifth best app for optimizing with this you can access this best performance and compatibility mode with your greenify to fastly hibernate all the applications running in the background what you have to do is just click on this plus symbol and it will show the apps which are running in the background and make sure that you hibernate only of the apps which are not you are using regularly like if you hibernate apps like whatsapp or facebook you will not get any notification here so make sure you hibernate apps only like your camera cpu you can also hibernate system apps so here i have some example like my youtube my uc browser my share it with Twitter, my my files music many of the applications so these are not my uh, regular use applications so i just hibernated these apps and I am telling you that this is the best application you can ever seen on the play store to save some battery life. Apps like uh, DU Battery Saver does not actually save some battery, it just helps you to save battery uh, by just turning on off Wi-Fi mobile data whenever it is not required. The fourth app in our list is this HEBF Optimizer. This is the hurt empty battery full, I don't know why it is named this. But uh, this has some features same as of the L-Speed mode but it has some additional features that's why it is making that different from L-Speed mode and I prefer you to this as compared to the L-Speed mode. So here we have some related tweaks like battery and main. So main we have a stream, zip, zip line and here we have some battery information. In battery you can set it to extreme or ultra extreme or medium or default whatever you want and it also have improved battery features and if you are getting drainage problem from the google play services just turn all these features off on sorry and we also have wiper sleeper and if you want multi core power saving you can set it to maximum or medium or you can easily just disable it to get your performance and in performance we have four features like reduce in all call display delay uh, gaming mode best multitasking and performance tweaks and we also have this feature that why it is making L speed mode different from this HEBF because we have some rendering tweaks to like improve rendering quality use GPU acceleration. This can be not be found in L speed mode and we have some UI tweaks like liquid suit UI as of the L speed mode. So some internet tweaks just turn it on according to your needs. We have some tools like you can easily backup, restore and delete. We also have RT fix to load the apps faster. You can easily calibrate battery and if you want to go to your recovery bootloader you can easily go from here. So here we have some miscellaneous tweaks like corner pallet you can easily use this. So here you can see that it is saying that if you are getting any random reboots just so just disable your kernel panic option. So in RAM manager you are getting this if you want to lock apps in memory. So just turn it on and select the app whichever you want to lock in the memory and it will not kill while you are cleaning your recent applications so here we have some kernel options and if you have a supported kernel you will see some of the features here which you can turn it on and tweak your kernel too and we also have cleaner like it has only two features of cleaning like clean junk files and clean hidden thumbnails but if you want to clean the cache and delvi cache you cannot do with this app fifth and the last best app in our list is expose installer this is the one of the best framework which i have ever found in rooted application list on the internet because this is basically work as a framework in which you will see 
thousands of applications available only just here what you have to do is just go to this download section and click on anyone and from here you will see this section so from here you can easily download and you have to just uh, go here again in modules and just tick it and restart your device to activate that application and with this you can easily optimize your android device completely in any case if you want to clean junk files if you want to boost performance if you want to uh, tweaks related to battery and if you have any kernel like miui kernel cm any other aosp reselection remix any rom it has tweaks related to that and if you have devices like sony xperia and other devices it also have tweaks so just type the name here and you will be easily download the features of the app easily so here we have some framework so i am currently using version 86 as it is for marshmallow and we have modules like i am currently using ad blocker green fine power nap for battery saving you can also use this to save some battery life and we also have ad blocker and in download so guys this is my 5 best rooted applications which you can use to optimize your android device up to a next level. I hope it will work for you and if it is working a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below and as I have just crossed 2000 subscribers so it is really amazing and thank you for all this. As always I see you in the next video. Thank you.